Alright, um, this is BearKiller77 Mitch. Um, I am uh, attempting to record from YouTube. If this doesn't work, I have it recording on my uh, software here. So in case one doesn't work, I have a second one and my camera is just a little off. Uh, this is just a quick uh, video. Um, you know, it seems like lately I've been getting a lot of flack from the enemy lately. Um, I apologize, my phone's going off because I'm... Anyway, I just muted it, so I'm just going to pray before this video starts. Um, Lord, you know where I'm going to go with this video, I don't. Um, I just ask, Lord, any opposition against this video or um, against my uh, little ministry on YouTube, Lord, I just rebuke the name of Jesus, Lord, you've called me on this channel to minister your word and preach and teach what you have called me to do on this channel. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, so um, I had about four or five comments. I think I had about four. Um, and uh, they were from Satanists. I'm not going to name any names, so if uh, you were hoping I was going to name anybody, I'm not. Um, uh, I, uh, it seems like the enemy's just really been, you know, throwing everything he's got at me, which is my YouTube channel, I guess to say. So, um, I've kind of put a little lock on the comments. I don't know how it happened, but some, uh, what's it called, Satanist or whatever, you know, he found my, um, channel somehow, right, and, um, he, he or she, I don't know who it is, someone left a comment on my, uh, page saying, you know, these really rude and, uh, stupid accusations, so, um, anyway, if, anyone make accusations against me they're all false um, first of all and secondly I'm a child of God and and no weapon form against me will prosper do you understand those who are attacking me do you understand what that means here let me pull up that scripture no weapon form yeah see that enemy uh, you see Satan likes to twist scripture and he, he doesn't want me to preach this word. He doesn't, he wants me to close down this channel so he's throwing everything he can and, you know, he get, gets together four or five knucklehead, or excuse me, because I'm so sorry I shouldn't have said that. Um, four or five, um, he uses four or five people, um, to, um, you know, do his thing. Okay, so it says here in Isaiah 54, 17, and that wasn't proper, so I, I'm just sorry for calling names. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm kind of frustrated right now, and uh, anyway, I'm not going to let it get to me, right? So, okay, so let's read this verse. It says, no weapon that is fashioned against you, this is Isaiah, against you, 54, 17, against you shall succeed or prosper is what uh, the NASB and New American Standard Bible and every tongue that accuses you in judgment you will condemn that is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication is for me and the ESV says and you shall confute every tongue that rises against you in judgment so it's this idea of you know every accusation that rises against me or any believer in Christ um, thrown by Satan is just a bunch of lies and garbage, you know, that he likes to throw. You know, guys, it's really funny how Satan works. I mean, it's it's not funny, but it's, how do I put it? It's um, interesting how he works in the way he, especially in my walk with the Lord, he's, uh, it seems like, uh, you know, he's very limited to what he can do, obviously, and I'm not trying to, um, raise up or, or, um, bring him to a plateau where he's not. I'm just saying, 
you know the word does say we have to be wary because he goes around like a lion seeking who may have devoured and you know it's funny guys because I was listening to a message and I listened to the podcast and one of them I don't remember the preacher I think it was uh, this guy is Charles Stanley I, anyway some preacher and he was talking about um, what was he talking about spiritual warfare and um, you know how to go into battle and seeking battle and putting on the former of God and you know, it's it's funny that um, the enemy is, is going after me in the season because um, you know I'm I'm really digging into this teaching and and just really stepping up to the plate and and you know as it were pu putting on the uh, helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, and you know all these things and. Um, you know, and it's just like, oh, he, and then he comes, and that's when he comes and attacks. You, you don't know when he's going to attack. He's going to attack any time. Um, and, you know, I I did the best I can to um, put limits on my channel. So, it's you know, things are concert proof. I wish they had a friends button on here for friends because uh, I didn't see one. Um, I did see one that it says for automatic but that means the comments just automatically flow through and then there's of course no comments which I want comments um, and then the only other option is is the uh, approve so I'm sticking to approve right now so um, just let you guys a uh, heads up out there who is watching you know uh, just keep me in prayer about this. I'm, I'll am i stick, uh, I call it on approve, and, you know, if it takes a while for me to actually get to your comment, or your something like that, then that's, I, I, uh, I do apologize in advance, but I, uh, you know, I can't let the trolls run, run my walk with the Lord, or not get in my way of the Lord, you know. Um, the Lord is my number one priority in my life, my life right now, excuse me. And, you know, I'm not going to let this um, trouble me in any way, shape, or form. And it's not. And, um, you know, honestly, I love you guys. Um, even those people who saw for Christ, you know, he said, Father, forgive them for not, they not know what they do. Even those who are who put in the nails in his hands and so forth, you know, he, he forgave these people. He didn't, they didn't know what he's doing, they are doing in a way. Um, and you know, I forgive and love you guys, those who did this, um, you know, I don't, hold, I don't hold anything against you, um, in any way, and, and, uh, I, I guess that was just a, you know, uh, fleshy outburst I, I had earlier with, the <laughs> about to use a word, but, um, you know, the Lord stopped me in my tracks, and he's like, look, you know, you know, another thing I want to, I'll bring up, um, the word also says, you know, the weapons are where far, are not carnal see see my natural reaction our natural reaction as people is to be carnal our carnally minded we go out and be carnal we throw what we have you see we have to trust in God we can't just um, we can't throw throw our own strength and abilities because um, I'll put it this way I was in church yesterday and um, or church service or worship service, you know, what whatever you want to call it. And uh, anyways, the preacher, um, it was speaking about um, how in Romans we are supposed to give our bodies as a living sacrifice and uh, holy sacrifice before the Lord, you know, as acceptable worship to God. And um, as she was uh, speaking this, she gave this word, and it was so encouraging and helpful to me. Um, and I'll just speak it to you guys, and maybe you could, you know, hopefully that'll be encouraging you if you're a believer out there or um, wherever. But she was just like, you know, um, she was saying she was in some kind of this uh, pastors conference or something, you know, where there's a bunch of pastors um, gathered in this place, right, in this meeting place, whatever. And she said, you know what God expects of you? or the speaker of this conference, she wasn't speaking, the person who said this, but she said, the person who was speaking, 
was saying, okay, do you know what God expects to you? And do you know what God expects to you? And while she was thinking, or excuse me, while the, the speaker was speaking this, um, she was thinking things like, well, you know, God expects me, oh, joy, uh, you know, the whole fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. And then the speaker says the second time, oh, what does God expect you? And she says, well, uh, more concrete examples of, oh, okay, well, God expects of me to do Bible study. God expects of me to do this. God expects me to do that. And then she finally said, you know what God expects of you? She expects out of, out of the net out of your own natural man failure. Like because this is believers of Christ on our natural man strength, we can't do anything. And so if you I just encourage you, if you're just watching this video and you're struggling with something, you're struggling with some addiction in the flesh or or you have something in your mind you're you're fighting with this you know, this temptation, you know I just en encourage you to uh, seek the Lord on this matter because, you know, the Lord wants us to go to Him in prayer for everything, uh, including our battles. You see, the Lord, you see, it says, um, you know, I really should use more scripture in this video. I, I've been having a lot of good thoughts, and there are scriptures that I mentioned. Um, what was I saying? I, I'm losing my thought pattern here. Let me just, I'm just going to go online here. Um, Bible CC seems to be my um, favorite when it comes to searching passages and such. So maybe we'll just use that or something. Um, and I, 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 I really didn't expect this to turn into a teaching video, but I guess it did. Um, but, you know, I, I just wanted to address this topic of warfare and, you know, how to deal with these incidents or these... Uh, comments, you know, that may come up on your channel too. Just uh, don't, you know, don't let it get to you. And anyway, um, so that's one scripture I mentioned earlier: the Isaiah, no weapon formed, blah blah blah, will against you, um, and so forth. But um, I really wanted to focus on um, addressing the issue of. Uh, how we go out and do that, you know, um, right, you know, how we go out and, um, seek God in prayer, as it were, to go and do, you know, God's call to do, and it's interesting, I just wanted to share this book here with you guys, on uh, some warfare, um, it's called Standing Strong, How to Resist the Enemy of Your Soul, by, uh, MacArthur, I uh, know everyone doesn't agree with, uh, MacArthur here, but, um, he, uh, most of his stuff's pretty good, though. Like, uh, he teaches the Bible and all that sort of thing. But in this book, he talks about the, um, charismatic movement. And, um, more specifically about spiritual warfare and how we go out and, as the body of Christ, to, um, address these issues. And not only that, but in, in actually the appropriate way that God has called us as believers um, to go against these things, you know, and it's, it's funny that, um, this is the very thing I'm studying, is the very thing that, um, <laughs> is happening to me, so, you know, I, I think, I think, um, I'm just being in a time of testing right now, and, um, you know, I, I, I uh, how do I put it? I shouldn't let it get to me, and it and it sometimes it does, guys. Because if you had to go through so much of it, which I I don't know about you guys, but um, I've been believer for like uh, I don't know, ten years. So it's coming real close to twelve, eleven or something. Anyway, I I really don't know how long, but somewhere around there. But if you've been a you know believer for as long as I have, obviously you've had some. Um, you've had some kind of spiritual warfare at one time or another in your life and um you know it's not it's it's really not a, a matter of if or when because it will happen it's a matter of you know um how you how you deal with it and god calls us in ephesians chapter 5 so let me actually pull this up on the uh, bible search here ephesians chapter 5 
Um, I'm going to try to wrap this up here in a few minutes because I have to get back to studying here. And, and uh, Okay, so um, let's see here. Parallel. It's been a while since I've used this uh, Bible.cc thing. It, it pulled up the uh, new international version. So let's see. How can I get the ESV? Uh, children's Bible, interlinear. Okay, so I'm going to switch to, whoops, that brought me to another website, hang on, sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out how to run this thing, um, okay, I think I have it, okay, um, let's see, where is it, I'm looking for it now, Okay. I can't seem to find it now, but um. Anyway, I'll, I'll just go ahead and mention it in passing and closing because I I'm kind of um, running a bit long on this already. So um, you know, God's call us to put on the full armor of God and stand against the schemes of the enemy. The scheme. Um, which I heard a pastor or someone, I think he said it was schema, schema, which is the schemes of, of our mind, of, of thinking, um, or fighting, war against these things with, you know, the, the, the sword of the spirit and the sandals of peace and the helmet of salvation. And, you know, we're not to go out in this war and throw a rock at the enemy, we're to engage in spiritual warfare. So, I just encourage you guys to you know put on the full armor of God and so forth and if you don't know what it means to do that you know feel free to send me a PM I can give you some more scriptures you can study or more teaching perhaps in the future I don't know um, this is just there is kind of a reverbage a, 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 teach, a teaching you what I've learned about fighting in the spirit and, and uh, what God has taught me that you know it's about seeking God in prayer actually there's another scripture I'll mention in closing it's uh, somewhere in, in Mark I think getting to Mark hang on let me check really quick it is actually uh, the one year Bible reading um, this morning it was actually pretty good it was in Mark let's see here it was an encounter with the demon just to give you a quick heads up um, okay so yeah, Mark chapter 9, verse 14. So you can open your Bibles there. It says, And when they came to the disciples, um, they saw a great crowd around them and scribes arguing with them. And, um, okay, so there's this encounter where basically you have the crowd and the scribes, and they're all running up to Jesus and they're greeting him, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden this guy from the crowd interrupts him and is like, Oh, teacher, I brought my son to you for his spirit that makes him mute. It makes him, it works. Whenever it seizes him, it throws him down and foams and grinds his mouth becomes rigid. So I asked your disciples, cast it out, and they are not able. And then Jesus' response to this was, O oh, faithless generation, how long I am to be with you? How long I am to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him, and the spirit saw him, immediately convulsed the boy, fell to the ground and rolled about, etc., and Jesus said, Father, how long is this happening to him? He says, From childhood he often cast the fire into the water, destroy him. If he can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If he can, all things are possible. And immediately the father the child and cries out, and then the crowd runs together, and then Jesus rebukes this unclean spirit, saying, You commute deaf spirit I command you, come out of him and never enter again. Okay, so this is an encounter with the demon and there's this boy with the unclean spirit, and it's, you know, making him convulse, and, you know, there's this uh, foam coming out of his mouth, and I'm not sure if foam is, I guess that's just, like, saliva, or, you know, some kind of foamy substance, you know, he's just, obviously, he's he's not under uh, his now natural ability control, he's lost all physical control of his body and the spirit, and... Anyway, the point of all this is verse 29. He said to them, This can, this kind, or verse 28, he says, When he 
entered the house, the disciples asked privately, Why could we not cast it out? And he said to him, or Jesus said to him, This cannot be driven out by anything but prayer. So, okay, so the point of this is, you know, we have to pray and seek God. We have to diligently seek God. We can't just, you know, go out in warfare and, 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 and do this for God and hope we're going to win and, and not pray. So you have to seek God's will. You have to know what God's saying in this word to go out and fight warfare for the kingdom of God. You can't just go out there and I'll just do this on my own strength and, and I'll just, you know, do whatever I want because, no, you have to seek God. You have to, Jesus says, um, prayer. You have to seek God in prayer. And like I said, it also talks about Ephesians somewhere to put on the full armor of God and, you know, stand against the wilds of the devil and, you know, the weapon form shall prosper, which is in Isaiah 54, which is another passage I mentioned earlier, so... Alright, so that's a uh, quick little teaching on spiritual warfare, and this video's gone long enough. Um, so I hope uh, it's encouraging everyone out there watching, and I just, I'll just pray in closing, and, um, you know, feel free to go back, PM, and whatever, you know, if you need any more verses or whatever. Okay, Father, I just thank you for this teaching, I thank you for um, this word you've spoken out of my mouth. Um, you have, you have called me, um, in a way, this, these, these comments, and I forget these people, Lord, but in a way this has, um, caused your word to be spoken and spread, um, out of me, and I thank you for this word, and I thank you for watching, and I pray this word encourages and blesses someone out there, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Alright, uh, God bless, see you next time.